In this module, I want to show you 10 really cool tips. Now, the first one is to do with paragraphs. So if I get my cursor into this margin area, this is called the selection area in Word. If I click once with the arrow pointing to the right, it will highlight a line. If I click twice, double click, it will highlight the paragraph. If I do three clicks in this area, one, two, three, it highlights the whole document. Now, a second one is if I double click on a word, it will highlight the word. If I click three times, it will highlight the paragraph. So that's if you're in the paragraph. Now, I've used heading styles on this document, which are these. So that's a heading style one. That's a heading style two. Now, when you use heading styles, if I go to the view tab, you have a really cool feature called the navigation pane, which will give you the structure of your document based on heading styles. If I click on these heading styles, it just jumps to that location in the actual document. I can also pick up, if I pick up chapter three and move it, the heading up like that, it moves the whole of chapter three above chapter two in this case. I'll pull it back down so you can see how that works. Now at the top, if I go control home, get myself to the top of the document, once you've got heading styles, you can quickly go to references and create yourself a table of contents. And it'll just drop that in at the top of the document like so. And that is a live link. So as soon as you change any of these pages, this will automatically update as soon as you click on update table of contents. I'm going to control Z that for a second. Another cool feature in Word is if I highlight a word, I can use control and the square bracket to make it bigger. That's your right square bracket, change the font size, left square bracket going down like so. And I can also, if I go and change some of these styles so make that bold italic and underline and change the color or something and also do the font size with it highlighted still there is a key command that's going to bring that back to the default which is control spacebar that'll just bring that back to the default 